Hey guys, Amp here bringing you another Affinity Designer tutorial, and in this tutorial we'll be going over the Layers panel. So, uh, in this tutorial I have opened up Neon Alleyway, and it's one of the uh, uh, sample works in Affinity Designer. I believe it is a French artist who designed this, and uh, it's a beautiful piece of artwork, uh, something one could even hang in their house, but... Uh, today we're going to be focusing on the layers panel. So I have brought the layers panel out. You can uh, put it back here in folder view and you can even take it out. And I'm just going to take it out to show you. So the first thing is up at the top we have opacity. So we can change the opacity of a given layer if it's selected. Say these green lights. Or if we select everything we can change the opacity of everything. So uh, after that we have expand and collapse as you can see in this little arrow. Uh, it is a group so we have a window glow so we can select different uh, groups and uh, you can group different things in layers. If you hit the option key when you have two selected you can hit the option key and come down to group or command G. Now there are different symbol indicators as well such as FX which will show you different effects. So this one has the the Gaddison blur on and uh, you can use this to add effects by checking the boxes here as well as below that there's edit all layers which is another way of like command A. Uh, there's mask layers down here and this creates a layer mask to reveal a portion of the layer while the rest of the layer remains hidden. Uh, there's an adjustment layer right here, which adds adjustment layer to the current layer for tonal or color correction. Uh, you can choose all of the blend mode. Right now we're on pass through, but you can see there's different ways you can blend it. Um, there's blend options under here. So you can change the source ranges and underlying composure ranges. And uh, next to that is locking and unlocking. This allows you to keep it how you want it, as uh, it won't change if you accidentally move something. It will keep it locked so that layer cannot be affected until you unlock it. There's also hide and show, uh, where you can hide or show different uh, groups. So let's try a group where it's uh, a little more noticeable. Here we go, building lights. And uh, let's just move the, the affinity light right here. So you can check it on and off to see or uh, hide the certain layer. You can add a pixel layer down here. You can uh, add a, another pixel layer or just a regular layer. And you can even delete layers entirely. So this is just an overview of the layers panel. I find it one of the most useful panels in Affinity Designer. Um, I use it all the time. Obviously, if you are in the program, you're probably quite familiar with it. Um, it's one of the most useful panels. Uh, it keeps everything organized. I personally do the same thing this artist has done where when I group things, I title it. I just find it keeps everything in its place and uh, really helps your flow of work. Um, it's just an overall great tool that you can use for anything Affinity Designer. And uh, I hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo tutorials. Thanks for watching.